Hello my pretties, it's Nerdy Witch here and today I decided that I want to make a dandelion syrup. I was driving home and all these big beautiful yellow flowers were sitting in everybody's yard and I'm like, I know what I'm going to do with that because it is not a problem or a nuisance for moi. Uh, yeah, channeling a little Miss Piggy, I know. But yeah, dandelion syrup. You can use it for tea or turn it into mead, which is what I'm planning on doing for Alyssa. But I was at a Beltane festival and I got super inspired because I saw all the handmade crafts and gifts and stuff. And I know that I can do these things and I forgot that I can do these things and it's been several years since I made it. But I thought, what a lovely gift for Mother's Day. So I'm going to gift for Mother's Day a dandelion syrup and and it, this is a great thing to do with Logan too so as soon as he comes home from school we are going out there and we are picking us some dandelion heads now we're just we're just using the heads because it's 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 a it's a delicate flavor but I am not digging up roots right now and trying to make a smoky tea I, I really want that soft floral to to celebrate the sun and nature and the beginning of spring so Hang in here with me. I'll show you how to make the syrup, and then we got fun facts for the end and all that other stuff. So let me go get Logan from the school bus, and we'll pick some dandelions. Hidden by the roadside, flying by this thorny rose, may I be given all that grows me? Can you show me how to grow? Can you please show me? Though I may feel weak, may feel tender for the longing, still my backbone chose these burdens, chose the boulders to be shouldered, yes I chose them. And in the night my eyes take on the thick of it, the cyclone screaming in the vent. Weather cloaked in shapes I will mistake For stories made my own expense and often In the night my eyes take on the thick of air The cyclone screaming wind of air The drowning in the wave of air To keep my breath above of it To breathe with all the heart of it To breathe with all the heart of it To breathe with all the heart of it
picked about 200 dandelions worth of petals. So I'm going to put them in a pot. Say this only that's 100. 200. Not 200. I'm looking more to that. 200. Okay. I'm going to put them in here. Well, and then we have three cups of water. Now we have to remember how much water we put in here because for every cup of water we need a cup of sugar to make it syrup eventually. So I'm going to put this on the stove, bring to a boil, and then simmer for about a half an hour. Okay, so I let the cheese steep. Now Logan's doing his homework at the kitchen table, so this is a good time to strain it off now that the tea has cooled off from boiling the petals to make kind of a tea liquid. So I've got the bowl to catch, and then I've got my strainer here lined with paper towel. I don't have cheesecloth, so necessity is the mother of invention, they say. Mother's invention? Mother of invention. Oh. So I've got my, my tea petals right here. Wait, I think I have more light. There we go. So I've got a nice golden liquid. And I'm going to carefully pour this in the middle. And I want all of these here in the colander. And now I'm going to gently fold and press because I want all the liquid out of here. Still liquid in here. There we go, and now I've got ooh, all this beautiful golden yellow liquid, and now we're going to put it back in the pot. What? Okay, we got our pot, and now I'm going to pour the liquid back in. And I do have some burnt stuff on the stove because I burnt the first batch. So we're going to be extra special careful. You burnt the first batch? I did. I said that came out Oops. wrong. Okay, oh, so I've got a fire under this now. So this was originally three cups of liquid. So we're going to put in three cups of sugar. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I've got my one cup here, so we're going to put in, whoops, one, two, three, and we're going to heat this to a boil. So we'll check in once it's boiling. Okay, so this is boiling and I've been stirring it to make sure that the sugars um, dissolve equally. So I'm gonna turn this down because I don't want it to burn. I burnt the last batch and I should have kept the YouTube fail for it, but I didn't. But that's why my stove is covered in black and gook. I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean this up because it overflowed and the entire thing smoked. So I'm just gonna simmer and stir this for the next couple of minutes because I don't want it to burn, but I want it thick. And you can always check the consistency by taking a little bit and putting it in the fridge. But we're just gonna let it simmer. I mean, it got really pretty and golden here. Uh, yep, nope, there's no hiding my, my burnt mess. I don't. I still gotta clean this up. I use the back burner so that the kids don't reach up and grab the pots and burn themselves. So, yeah, when you get the consistency that you want, we're gonna cool it and bottle it. Okay, so this is my glass bottle I'm gonna keep my syrup in. And my husband bought it for me because it is, it is waterproof, or waterproof, airproof. Mm. 
Airtight. Airtight. Yeah. Airtight. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So I'm just going to put this funnel, and while the syrup's still a little warm, we're going to fill her up. Pray to God I don't burn myself. So I'm good at that. Ow, my wrists. All right. Okay. I'm trying to see how fast I have to pour. Close. Uh, yep. Stop. That's all there is. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was close. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And and that's it. I have triumphantly three cups of dandelion syrup. Now again, as I stuttered, because again, I am a professional, this can be stored in an airtight, airtight, wow, I messed that up twice, three times, a lot, <laughs> airtight container in the fridge for up to six months. So um, you got to make sure it's cool enough so that the glass doesn't crack. If you're going to keep it in a glass container, but not so cold is that the syrup is too thick to pour efficiently. So it's going to be warm, kind of like maple syrup. Um, so we're going to take that in my next video and turn it into mead. However, we're going to talk about the dandelion and its properties and medicinal uses just because I'm a history nerd. There's a reason why I'm called Nerdy Witch. So I figure, oh, see, er, people with no attention span, here's the recipe, here's how you make it, and now here's what it's good for. So dandelion means tooth of the lion in French. I like them because they're resilient, and they are the first sign of spring. In fact, it is the first pollen that the bees start their spring pollination spree with to make honey, so the first batches of honey have it. So I... I I was getting the pollen on my fingers, so that thing is full of it. So I don't know if it's good for allergies in the way that honey is, but there are some things that it is good for. You can eat the petals, the leaves, and the roots. However, the stems are mildly toxic. They contain certain levels of latex, and especially in small children, not okay. Um, so please be careful. I'm not a medical professional. I am not a survivalist when it comes to outdoor food and such. I just know I can have the dandelion petals and make syrup and everybody's okay on, on, on my end. The good thing about picking dandelions and using them for food is is that there are no poisonous doppelgangers. So there's no other plant that also looks like dandelion. Well, there are plants that look like dandelions, but the good news is, is they are also non-poisonous and safe to consume. Might want to do a Google search before you go run and say, Nerdy Wish said I can eat all the weeds in the front yard. Talk to somebody first. Consult a professional or don't blame me, okay? So, um... I, I talked about the benefits of the roots in my uh, herbal coffee substitute tea review. So this time I'm going to try to stick to the petals. So the possible benefits are um, that it has antioxidant properties. They are also a diuretic, so goodbye water. General pain reliever. They can settle stomach cramps. Uh, also act as an antidepressant and they're a good source of vitamin A and B12 which is really good for the eyes and in some cases dandelions can help improve night vision as well. Uh, 1956 uh, Chavin um, hmm, I'm gonna spell it 
right here, this person, demonstrated the antibacterial effects of pollen. It's traditionally in Korean folk medicine. Uh, it's used to prevent boils, skin infections, tuberculosis, edema, and to promote blood circulation. Um, it was brought over from Europe and Asia and, and is now part of Native America, um, Native you con the North America. That's what I live in. That's the entire continent, not just the ignorant United States. The entire continent has them. So they're pretty common. In Wicca, however, it's associated with the masculine and elements of air. Um, a lot of times, even though it's an air element, it's a symbol of solar deities. Um, Hecate was a good example, I feel like. Um, and Wicca, you can use it in certain ways to produce and increase psychic awareness. Also, um, there's apparently some ways that you can use the roots to call spirits. But I believe that the dandelion is most synonymous with wishing. Anything for wishes. Um, we saw how fun it was for me and Logan to gather the petals and make the syrup. But you can also keep a jar of wishes for um, a small child by collecting the dandelion white ball tufts and keeping them in a jar and having an emergency wish when you really need it. Um, I actually have a, a dandelion tattoo right here going down my arm. It is not the best tattoo, um, but that that is quite the... Um, the story. However, it's a sign of a little boy that I loved very much and that taught me that I could be a mother and that I could have Logan in my life and not be a bad mom. Unfortunately, due to a breakup, I was unable to see that child ever again. And the father sent me a message and it was very, um, aggressive and angry and that particular ex was abusive and liked to play psychological games with me so but he told me that I had ruined this child because he had taken him to the park and he was blowing on dandelion after dandelion after dandelion and he was getting very frustrated and he said this doesn't work and I guess his dad my ex said what doesn't work? And he goes, I keep wishing for Boo to come back and she's never coming back. And that was me. I was, I was Boo. And that made me very, very sad. So on my arm with the Buddha tattoo, I had won this tattoo in an autism benefit and I had it, I had it done. That child wasn't autistic, but, um, you know, I, I know people that are, so I supported Anywho, long story short, short dandelions are, are very significant. They're very useful. I don't consider them a weed. I know Pappy gets very upset when Logan and I are picking the dandelions and blowing the tufts and spreading them and, and that kind of thing. But in reality, you're spreading wellness and happiness and sunshine and dreams and wishes when you're playing with this particular plant. It's an herb. It has medicinal benefits please look it up. There's a myriad of information on, on, on this flower just sitting in your yard and you're just naturally drawn to them as a child. And as an adult, you can do some pretty amazing things with them like syrup. And now I'm going to turn this syrup into booze. Mm -hmm. And then whatever I have left, I'm going to gift. So I'm going to, I'm going to spread some love and some wishes if I can. So please, uh, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. I think I already said all this crap, so we're just going to right through it and I'm going to invite you to take care and, uh, bye witches.